Texas school shooter has welcome home party. Welcome back, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you share, make sure you comment, and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Runaway child. I told you guys that I would be back with news involving the Texas school shooting. Well, Timothy Simpkins, 18 years of age, senior, down at Timmerview High School decided to take matters into his own hands, got into a fight with a 15 year old, Mr. Selby. I think his name is Selby. I can't pronounce his first name. I won't try to butcher it, but his last name is Selby, 15 years old, Mr. Selby. Timothy Simpkins decided to take matters into his own hands after the fight. He went into his book bag, got a gun, fired off some rounds, striking. Mr. Selby at least four times. Mr. Selby is still in critical condition at the hospital. Um, he has been placed in an induced coma. And yeah, Mr. Simpkins, he's been released on bun. And after he was released on bun, his family decided to throw him a welcome home party. Word is that he was being bullied. 15 year old Mr. Selby is not the only one in this case that was bullying uh, Mr. Simpkins. Uh, that's what I'm being told. So this is a case of one guy kind of having the better things of life. Uh, word is he's a straight A student, doesn't bother anyone, uh, drives nice cars and uh, has nice clothes. And he's one of the privileged kids as society would say. That's still no reason to be bullied. I'm not saying that what he did was the right thing to do. I myself has been, have been a victim of a situation which was a bullying situation and it ended in a school shooting and one of my friends died. So I know how these things could play out and I know how the story could quickly get turned and, and things could get shaken up. So I won't do too much talking on this because I noticed that, you know, some people was leaving in the comments that I didn't know the whole story, so I shouldn't speak on it and things of that nature. So I won't speak too much on it. I'll let the family, let each family, should I say, you know, grieve and do what they need to do. And I hope everyone in this situation learns something from the situation. And I hope both of these young males, young black males, come out of this situation decent because they still got their full life ahead of them so i'll go ahead get into this video footage i won't make this video too long he was scared he was afraid there's a video that's all out on social media and it shows that he was being attacked it wasn't just one person that would attack him and bully him taking his money harassing him due to the fact because he had more things than maybe others. It takes us all. It takes us all to stand together about this bullying. It could have been a situation where he took the other turn and decided to commit suicide. What the decision that he made taking the gun, we're not justifying that. That was not right. But he was trying to protect himself. And so we hope that the police department does the investigation properly. There are going to be independent investigations that's going to be done as well so that we can get to the bottom of really what happened. They were blessed financially. And so he was able to, you know, get things maybe that other children could not get or teenagers could not have. And so because he wore nice clothes and because he drove nice cars, and because he had the things, he was like a target outgoing, loving person, uh, being that he's been around his grandmother, his loving uh, mother, uh, they taught him to love, and, and he was he's, he's, he was a giver, you know, uh, mostly like well like up until the point to where he got into his senior year, and it really became, he was looking forward, he's looking forward to graduating and doing something with his life. Yeah, the Selby family say they want to make uh, sure that people know who their young family member is. He was shot 
four times Zacchaeus Selby was and Steve on Wednesday morning about 9.13, 9.14 when other students at Timberview High School picked up cell phones, talk, text or FaceTime with their parents about the shooting. Zacchaeus Selby FaceTimed his grandmother and mother telling them he had been shot. It's a call no parent can ever be prepared to receive. And he said, Mama, Mama, I've been shot. And I said, what? He said, I've been shot. Oh, my God. And he held the phone. And I saw the hole in his chest. And it was just blood just pouring, pouring, pouring out of his chest. It was all over his clothes his mouth, his ear, the concrete. That's how Aisha Selby learned her 15-year-old son, Zacchaeus, had been shot Wednesday morning. She rushed to Timberview High School. I was beating on the door, let me in, my baby's in there. But, you know, they wouldn't let anybody in. And he came out on a stretcher. And I ran to the stretcher and I grabbed his hand and he looked up and he said, I love you. And I said, I love you too. Watching as the ambulance raced with her son to Medical City, Arlington, where today he's undergoing a second four-hour surgery. This football, from video game. He's a regular teenager. He's 15. You know, he's my baby. Regular stuff, like snacks and talkies. And I mean, he's just tennis shoes, cell phone, just regular teenager. But he's loving, and he's caring, and he's smart, and he's silly. The family did say that Timothy Simpkins charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and Zacchaeus who mom calls KK were in class together but could not talk about parts of the investigation and do you know if what they were fighting or could have been fighting about they're in the same class grandmother Kathy Selby spoke up they asked her not to get into that because that's part of the investigation Simpkins bonded out of jail Thursday Arlington police say a 45 caliber weapon they found on Grand Prairie streets is the gun confirmed by ballistics used in the shooting. But they're trying to identify where the gun came from and that the suspect has declined to speak with detectives. That was literally the worst day of my life. I've lost my mother, but this was the worst day of my life. Selby and a teacher, Calvin Pettit, was also injured shot while trying to stop the fight. Staff is telling us that the teacher is concerned, so concerned about him. Aisha said she's been visited by the teacher's mother. Because she said, my, my, yeah, my boy is in the hospital too. And she said, can I pray with you? And when he's out of surgery today, mama said she's going to tell him. I love you. <laughs> I'm going to tell him I love him. And we're going to do the same thing. Mommy loves you. And if you could hear me, squeeze my hand. So that's how uh, they've been communicating, Steve, since he's been here. She would say, if you hear what I'm saying, squeeze my hand. And she tells me that Zacchaeus or KK would respond by squeezing her hand. I got a message from her just a bit ago. The second surgery went well. He's out and now in recovery. But uh, getting better a little at a time. More surgeries could be in the future. Going to be a long journey back.